here are actually three books that changed my life. One, two, three! Let's start with book number one, The Art of Clear Thinking. It is not the biggest book, but it actually contains not only one topic, and it's talking about one topic, but about a lot of topics, and I even haven't finished it yet, since it's actually a lot. This book is talking about how to have a clear mind and talking about all of these biases that we actually think are right, even though we just grew up to think a certain thing is right, even though it's actually just a bias and not really 100% true. For example, never judge a decision by its outcome. Often we judge something by the, way, by the outcome, but that is not a good way and a, not a good approach to any kind of situation. You have to judge the situation based on the situation, not based on the outcome, because the outcome can always be different depending on the person, depending on the time. Like every, there's so many factors that actually are also part of the outcome but somehow we just judge it right away just based on the outcome or why you're either the solution or the problem or mission bias or why attractive people climb the career ladder more the halo effect like there's so many biases that we actually just grew up thinking that that's the way the world works and that book is actually addressing all of them and i mean really all of them almost talking from a neutral perspective and actually telling you that what you might think is a certain way is actually not the real way so to speak so if you really want to dive deep in your thoughts in your way of thinking in how you actually see the world then i would highly recommend you that because that gives you the worldview in a neutral perspective looking at everything from a neutral perspective okay to summarize this book this book is for everyone who really wants to think clearly and i mean by that not being manipulated by the media by their own thoughts by their own childhood by everything this is a neutral book for everyone that really want to see the world the way it is in a neutral way the next one it's actually not a book it's called the six minute diary and of course if you start with that then in the beginning you have actually a lot of pages where you read but after a while like even here but after a while let's say maybe like maybe it's a like a 50 yeah 70 70 pages book and after that it contains so much it has a weekly calendar where you can weekly check on your habits then there's notes and ideas weekly questions weekly challenges positive affirmation so it's called the six minute diary because each day contains three minutes of journaling in the morning and three minutes of journaling in the evening it is actually a guided journal so for example what you have you have a blank page and it's written i'm grateful for then you list up three things that you are grateful for then a section with this is how i will make today great then you have a little bit of space to write something in there and one positive affirmation that's it for your morning after that you have always one quote for example to the world you may just be one person but to one person you may be the world by brandney seidner and then in the evening you have similar you have one section that says my good deed today then another section which says how i will improve and then the third section is great things I experienced today and then you list up three again. This is each day and then like I told you you have the weekly challenge once a week, you have these weekly questions, very deep one, very deep one, let me just show you one. If you could wake up with a new skill tomorrow, what would that be and why this one in particular? Or who have you been thinking about a lot recently, what could this mean? Or are you someone you would like to spend the rest of your life with? Explain why or why not. And these weekly questions actually really builds you as a character. I have that book now more than more than a year. I think the first one, first time I actually started with that book is like almost two years ago. And it is not so cheap to be honest, but it's worth every cent of it. The third and the last book is Get It Done by Eilert. Fischbach or Fischbach and 
This is actually just a complete summary of what actually motivates you and why. Sometimes we think motivation is all we need, but that book particularly, that book is actually talking about motivation, the reason behind your motivation, how you can use and fuel it that you actually reach your success. What is motivation exactly? How can you actually motivate yourself? And is motivation the only thing that you need? So many questions, this book is actually answering all of them. And if you feel sometimes lost or if you feel sometimes that you have what it takes but you're not putting in the time because there's something holding you back, then this book is perfect for you because it is addressing all these big factors in your life. It is addressing all these big human, humanly mistakes that we do. And yeah, just talking about from a neutral perspective on all of these problems and also addressing them in a very good and scientific way. So yeah, it's not just uh, you got this uh, like a cheer up or like a book that motivates you but it's actually talking about the real factors and what's actually very important for you in order to reach your success and stay motivated along the way so guys these are the three books get it done six minute diary and the art of clear thinking i think if you have these three books you're really good to go be it becoming a content creator be it just succeeding in any kind of business or just really leveling up your life because these books actually contain everything that you need so i hope you really like that book recommendation video haven't done that in a while and as you can see i have way more so if you like it let me know and i will provide you with the next one and i thank you so much for watching just do me a favor because i'm really putting in the work now just give it a like it will take you five seconds and if you haven't subscribed to that channel because I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. That mom for a hundred bags. Be right here whenever you need me. I need you to know that your son's got your back. Like mama, owe you everything. Can you believe that? Everything, come and repeat that. And when I make a song, you give me feedback. I want you plant the seeds and then you reap that. Made a little money from trees. I'll